I'm Joshua St. John. I'm the product specialist here at 3D Systems and today I'm going to be taking uh, you guys through a new product we're releasing called Cubify Sculpt. And uh, Cubify Sculpt is a really interesting uh, new modeling tool and it's aimed at really democratizing content creation. So whereas CAD has always been the territory of uh, elite users with steep learning curves, this is aimed at uh, being really intuitive and making 3D accessible to everyone. So I'm going to start off here and just show you by, um, I'm going to bring in a, a sphere and I can immediately bring it in and then mirror it. And once I mirror it, I can just start sculpting on it. So I have this tool called Sculpt and I have three different modes. I can remove material and I can turn up the heat or turn down the heat to make it happen faster or slower. And I also have add material, so I can add on material, turning up the heat, bumping it out like so. And then I have smooth, which is like um, virtual sandpaper. And I can turn on the mirror command as well and then sculpt from both sides at once. So I'll just give you a little demo of making a, a face here. I can start off you know, with the eyes change it to add material, come down, start adding material for the nose. I can change the size of the tool just by hitting plus or minus, and I can start adding on here. Rotate from the side. And you can see it's just really intuitively adding material onto the surface. So I'll do subtract, like so, right? So we also have this tugging tool, which allows you to push and pull, also interactive mirror. So I can actually pull out like so. So if I change it to the side view now, I want to give this guy a chin, can pull his chin up, pull his forehead up, and really quickly start getting a, a form that is instantly 3D printable. We have other tools like uh, Deform, or stretch, and with this I can take and pull one side, or I can change it to symmetric, like so. I have this smoothing tool, so I can come over, turn the feather on, and start smoothing, and you see it works like, like so. One of the really cool things about Cubify Sculpt is that you can take STLs or OBJs or PLY with color data and import them in and do mashups or change them. Also, because we're using 3D Systems uh, volumetric modeling kernel, a lot of problems that you see with the STLs and OBJs are instantly healed, making the files 3D printable, which is really uh, an advantage for the beginner user. You don't have to get involved in the technical stuff. You just import it in, hit go, and it's ready to print. So I'm going to start off by importing in a scan that we took up at the, the Metropolitan Museum of Art, and it's a sphinx here. So I'll uh, import it in, and uh, I'll go ahead and paint it as well while I'm at it. So I'll just choose a single color, and um, let's do this color here. And now I'm going to import in a scan of uh, our CEO's head. This one's a PLY, so it has full color data. So I'll import in Avi's head, and it comes in like so. And I have all these great tools to reposition it, like I can move it. This way I can only rotate if I want, so I can move like this. Um, but if I go from the side view, I can turn on the move and kind of line up his face where I want it, and then come to the front view and do the rotations the way that I want it, change it to rotate, go like, like that maybe, let's try to get the line up just perfectly. And then when I hit apply, it's joined into one piece. And this file at this point is completely 3D printable. But I can keep adding on to it to blend in these areas. So you see I have some, you know, some areas here where the neck doesn't blend into the shoulder just right. And I can just come in, start blending those in. Like so. And you don't have to be a talented CAD designer to start mixing these, uh, these shapes together. So really quickly, we've been able to take uh, 
you know, two files and mix them together, adapt them, and then they're ready for 3D printing. I'm going to pull up another example of, uh, for texturing and embossing. So uh, I'm going to pull in a shoe that was created by one of our designers. So texturing. This is really cool. You can take any grayscale image, height field, texture map, displacement map. You can go on the internet, Google for these things. We also give you a library of them. And you can choose, let's say, I'll do this like so. And then I can hit, hit the height like three millimeter, hit preview, and it bakes that texture right onto the surface. So that was a quick introduction to Cubify Sculpt uh, from 3D Systems. It's the ultimate 3D Band-Aid. You can just take in OBJ files, STL files, PLY files, customize them, add details, and make them ready for 3D print. And you can either send them off to us for cloud printing, full color printing, ceramic printing, or you can print them at home on your Cube and CubeX printers. So you can download it from our website, and it comes with a 14-day free trial. It costs 129 99 and it's available starting right now.